What is up guys, Andy here with a YouTube video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I'm setting up my green screen as you can see here with my monitor behind me or my screen behind me. Um, before we get into this video, uh, why don't you just go ahead and click on that uh, subscribe button up there. Um, it'll help me a lot and if you're new to my channel, basically what I do is all kinds of how-to stuff. Um, I do like how to's, how to smoke smarties, how to whistle, how to everything. I do lots of how-to stuff on the um, on my computer as you can see here, how-to videos with technology and stuff. Um, so I do a wide variety of how-to stuff along with gaming videos and stuff like that. But um, so I have a wide variety of videos, and I'm gonna be uploading a lot more videos. I'm uploading around. I'm sticking to my one video a week schedule because I just had to get back into school and stuff. But I'm back. I'm settled now, so it's all good. Um, but I will be uploading video one one video a week now. But um, let's go ahead and get into this video. <laughs> I just had my video my screen open just or my YouTube channel just to show you how I or just show you my subscribe thing. But um. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can do green screen with OBS. And if you don't know what OBS is, it basically stands for Open Broadcasting Software. And what Open Broadcasting Software... Let me go ahead and make myself smaller because this is big. Um, basically, what OB, open, broadca open Broadcasting Software is, is um, it, it's a really nice recording software you can use on your computer. Um, it's not very, like, it's not very uh, CPU or graphics card heavy, so you can record your, you know, your Rocket League, whatever kind of... your League of Legends, Minecraft, whatever you want to play, um, you can record it and it will not lag your computer um, because it's really light on the CPU. Um, but that, I really like, that's one of the reasons I like it, just because it's a really light load um, recording software. Um, besides, and along with the fact that it has all these features like, you know, this green screen and all these multiple scenes and stuff. So it's really nice software, especially for being free. So I definitely suggest you checking it out. We'll leave a link in the description below um, if you want to download it, if you haven't downloaded it already. Um, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a green screen just like you can see myself. And what a green screen is basically is where you can make yourself stand out or wherever you want to stand out and there's nothing behind you because it's a solid color as in the color green. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and get into this video. So basically what you want to do, I'm going to stay on this scene or else if I didn't it's going to um, like maybe go black. So I'm just going to stay right here. Um, but basically, whenever you get into it, it sh whenever you download it, if you haven't already, or if you're in your OBS, you'll have a scene one. Or you can create a new scene, you can click add scene, and it'll make a new scene for you. But we're going to stick on the scene, um, scene two. So you want to click on your scene, make sure it's blue, and it's selected, and then you have some sources here. And if you don't have any sources, that's fine. If you have some sources, that's fine. Just you right click here on your sources, and you want to go to add, and you want to click video capture. And you can name it whatever you want. I'll just name my webcam, I guess. Click enter. You've named it. Now you want to select the device for this, you know, your video capture device, which is your webcam. And you want to, I don't know why it has my Elgato captured. I, I don't even have that anymore. Um, basically, what you want to select is the air your webcam. So my Logitech HD Pro webcam C920 is what I'm going to use for my webcam. Um, and this configure button here is, you can use that to configure your actual settings of your, um, your webcam. So if I wanted to autofocus, take autofocus off and make myself blurry, make myself clear, but I'll stick it on autofocus. Um, or if I made myself bigger, you know, zoom it in, whatever you, how you want to set it up. Actually, pull this in a little closer. Okay. Um, and then uh, advanced settings. You know, just basically whatever your, however your um, your webcam set up. That's how you want it. You can mess around those settings. Um, but you want to make your settings in your webcam as clear as possible. You can see your face as clear as possible, and there's not any like you know distortion or anything. Cause you know you want the main part of your camera to be clear through your webcam. Um, and then you on this main part flip it vertically or horizontally if I flipped it vertically I'd be upside down, you know kind of stuff like that horizontally switch it around you can change the opacity um, point filtering pr pr Preserve source size. I, I don't really mess around with any of this custom resolution. No, I just wanted what same as my video size So 1280 by 720 P 30 frames per second if you have a 60 frames per second webcam That's cool. I guess but you don't really need the 60 frames per second webcam um, but 30 frames per second set for me fine. It kept it like that. My color space doesn't mess with any full range. That just what that full range does is it, it makes I guess more colors into it I guess, but I didn't really mess with it too much. Um, I just want to keep it on the settings default for that. Um, I have my audio input device set to disabled just because you know the webcam mics are never that great, and I have a mic right here, so I mean it's just as fine, <laughs> if not better. Um, but so I have it disabled and then I don't have anything for wave out audio render just left it on one But this is where we get to the actual part, you know the green screen green screen actually means chroma key chroma key is the more technical version green screen is just you know the more 
simplistic version of I guess it of I guess it of it I guess what the heck. Um, but basically, before we get to those settings, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and exit out and go to my actual settings from what is running right now. Um, so right now you have it disabled. Come dis disabled, and as you can see, I have it disabled. There's a green screen behind me, or a chroma, you know, chroma key, whatever. Um, that's what we're gonna be doing. So basically, for green screen, um, what you wanna do is for this whole thing to work out, you need to have a green screen or a clear white screen behind you. Green is be better because white it's part of your face and it's part of your like your color your shirt or anything like that your might your headset stuff like that so green is a better color because it's more it's not as it's not a neutral color and it's not it blends all it works a lot better with green um, but basically if you th if a lot of people think oh green screen that costs a lot of money but it really doesn't I was actually doing a little bit of research earlier um, let me go back to Google here and we can actually see how much a green screen costs. You can just look up green screen. I was in it earlier. <laughs> I put green screen costs earlier. Um, but look, literally a phone presentation board, 20 by 28 neon green, is three bucks. Or you can get a you know like an actual one with a frame around it. I'm gonna click on this one here. This is at Walmart. 18 bucks for it. It has the whole thing here, and it comes with a. It's for see, photography and video. Um, so it's like a, it's really nice. I mean, I mean, it's really not that expensive. It's just like, I mean, if you want to do green, green screen, you can do it like that. But if you don't even want to spend that much money, um, all you have to do is you really just go to like Walmart or your fabric store, or whatever, and you want to ask for a color like a, like a fabric color just like this back here. Kind of a not a too dark green, but not a super light Leon, like lime green or anything. Just a neutral green like this back here. Um, but once you've got that select, or once you've got that your your screen picked out, um, you should have it right back here. And at Walmart, I noticed you can get you can get green screen there. Um, you can get your green screen there. You just ask for the green. You pick your fabric out, and they do it by I think it's by three feet by however long you want it. And it's like I think it's like two, like a dollar or so. I, I don't remember how much it was. I just remember talking about it a while back. But um, so if you want to do a webcam like me, this what is this like probably. I'd say about six or seven feet just in this webcam like area right here. Um, so I'd be like two or th maybe two, three of those of those sheets. So I mean, it's not even cost ten dollars if you got it from Walmart. It's really cheap. So green screens aren't expensive. Moral of the story. Um, moral of the story: green screens aren't expensive. Okay. <laughs> um, but the second thing you want to do before you get this green screen, you want to have really you want to have really good lighting. Like I have a light right there. I have a light right there, and that's like a, a bar, a really long bar light. Um, so I have lights coming in from two different directions, so it illuminates my face and it lights the screen up, the, the green behind me, so it keeps it pretty much the same color. I do have a little bit of shadow back there, but it's not too bad. Um, but that's what you want to have. You want to have good lighting and you want to have a green screen. That's two main things. Um, so basically, when you check, when you once you have that and you click chroma key, this is what's going to happen. You want to you have a color. It should be white if you haven't done it already. And you want to click select and you want to pick a, the color. When you pick the green, you don't want to pick the darker screen like down here, but you don't want to pick the lightest green up here. You want to pick in the middle so it gives you a little bit of um, space for you to be able to, you know, set up for it's not too bright, not too dark. So I'm going to pick the green about right there, I guess. And there you have it. It's pretty much set. There's not a lot. I mean, this is a little bit of this right here, but that's just part of the camera, I guess. I'm not really sure. But um, it's not really bother you too much if you're playing video games because you're not going to be doing this or anything. At least I hope you're not. So. Unless you're raging, so, but um, but you've got your color selected um, for your settings. This is just depending on the camera, what kind of webcam you have, all that kind of mess. But my settings personally for my C920 and my environment with these lights here and this color green screen behind me, um, I have 110 for my similarity, 90 for my blend, and 20 for my spill reduction. Um, these are my personal settings. You can try them out, but they I'm not going to guarantee that they're going to work just for you because. Um, a different like it's a different environment different lighting different color so I mean, basically what the similarity does if I was to turn that down to like 20 or so I mean it like like if I what, what if I put down to 10 or what about like zero see like it, it's you don't want that that's bad you don't want that there you want to get that as less as possible as least amount as possible so 120 once you get too high if I went to see if once I go to 140 here you can actually see um, that my shirt is starting to like blend in with the back so I want to keep it 110 because it's not Disintegrating my shirt with the background and it's keeping it just right and my head's chopped off on the top I just realized that you scoop down a little bit. All right, and then for the blend um, 90 is what mine is, but basically if I put that down to 10 Or if I put it let me see if I put it to 100 a thousand okay a thousand Makes me this color and you don't want that either. This looks creepy. 
my lips. Look at them. They're like freaking pink or something. 10. I mean, that's not really too much of anything, but I'm going to keep mine at 90 just for safety, I guess. Or 90. There we go. Um, and then, because it's, I mean, that's how it's set the best. And then spill reduction. If I set it to 1,000, it turns me pink. I know that much because I accidentally put an extra zero. 10, it doesn't really, I mean, zero, it doesn't really too much. I have mine just set to 30 or 20. And it just keeps like that. That's me personally. So you're just going to mess around those numbers. Um, it's ranging from 1 to 1,000. You just mess with those numbers and you should find the right blend of everything to make yourself where there's no background. Um, but that's pretty much it what I have for the green screen. And if you're wondering how I made myself in OBS, I made myself where I was sitting over there. What you want to do basically is you have your camera. Your if you when you first start your webcam here, you might be like really big, like what, like way up here or something. <laughs> um, what you do is underneath the settings here, underneath the microphone, you'll have an edit scene. You click that, and this big red box will come around your body, right? Or your camera, and you just want to click on one of the corners and just drag it however big you want it. So if I want myself this big, or if I want myself this big, I can set it, I can set it however I want to. Um, but I usually have mine in this corner right over here. Um, when I'm playing my video games or if I'm going to do tutorials like this so you can see my face you can see what's going on and it all works out together and I can you know use my hand gestures to help you out a little bit better but that's how I have mine set in the corner like that and if I and some people were asking how I have a borderless background or whatever um, basically what I've done is I've just, I've just like green screen but if I wanted a frame around me I'd go into Photoshop and I would make a frame or I'd set it I'd make a Photoshop file and I'd make it 280 1280 by 720 um, pixels just like you know a webcam is here and I make a border around it and I make I'd save it as a transparent file and I'd save it as a PNG because PNG supports transparency and then um, I just click I'd go over here on my sources click add I pick an image I'd click enter image I'd go browse I'd pick the, my image from where my file or wherever I saved it as and it and then i can drag i click edit scene and then drag it over my uh, webcam here and it'll just f be a frame around my um webcam but i do like it how it is now it's clean i don't have any colors anything messing with my screen except for my face here which is sitting on the side um so it works out just right so that's how i like it personally but if you like this video guys and it helped you you know set up your green screen or it you, informed you of how to set up green screen so you can do it in the future i'm um, sure to leave a thumbs up um thumbs up help a lot along with you know subscribing and leave a comment because commenting helps me gives me feedback what you guys think and subscribing just helps me get to a bigger number and i can make better videos more and more um but i will be uploading videos once a week that's my schedule now i have it set i'll have videos uploaded for you guys once a week now um but thanks for watching the video guys be sure to leave a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions and uh, thanks for watching the video guys